Hi everyone, so hopefully you've managed to get a bit more comfortable with the scale which I presented in the last video and if you're more comfortable with it maybe you've tried to plunk out a few songs. With that basic scale and the techniques of tuning and stuff like that you can start playing basic music at this point. Um, you just have to sort of fiddle around with it, play around with it by ear, experiment. But um, today I want to talk about a few other basic techniques before we start moving on to actual songs. Um, and these are just basic techniques for hitting the strings that make a huge difference. First I want to talk about the way I hold the pick. I don't know necessarily if this is the proper way to hold the pick, but it works for me and a lot of people ask how I hold my pick. I hold my pick like this. I've got my index thing finger and thumb in the center of the pick on opposite sides and my middle finger knuckle is on the corner of the pick. Sometimes I actually have my middle finger tip so you can see it's like this or like this. And there's not a lot of tension in my hand. This provides a good deal of strength and support to the pick so it's not going to flop much from side to side, but I can easily pull it right out between those fingers. There's really not much pressure. This stops me from getting a hand cramp, but you have to realize you're not going to be getting a lot of pressure in this direction, only in this direction, so as long as you've braced the pick, you should be fine. But, you know, you can work around finding what style is most comfortable for you. I find that this gives me the most freedom of movement. Next, the most common mistake that's made by people plucking a stringed instrument that I've seen, and I know this was one of my first and many of my students first, is only striking in one direction. You can strike on both with the mandolin. If you're not comfortable with that yet, try playing some scales where you play each note several times and just do this nice loose wrist pluck in both directions. See how loose that is? just nice loose wrist movement and this does make the sound better and it gives you so much more freedom and I promise that once you start doing it this way you will never be able to revert to the old way which is good you don't want to revert to the old way now another thing that I had a lot of trouble with in the beginning was the fact that you can actually make two notes with one pluck it's like this my dad calls it hammering on I don't know if that's the technical term I don't know any technical terms um, but it's used a lot in Tibetan music. Now when I started playing, I was plucking the string for every note. So if I played akupema, it sounded kind of like this. That sounds pretty stiff, very, very much a beginner playing. It just doesn't sound good when it should sound something like this. Well, the difference is that in that second time I played, I was hitting more than one note with a single pluck. And the way you do that is you just strike the note and you put the tip of your finger down really quickly, really hard on the string. Just as if you were playing the next note, but you do it quickly enough that the tone of the first note hasn't died. So, see that? I just played the entire scale, but I only actually hit the strings five times. Hit hammer, hit hammer, hit hammer, hit hammer, hit. That was it. Now when you do this, you have to be careful. You have to hit with the tip of your finger, and you have to hit pretty hard. You can see the traces of the strings on the tip of my finger. If you hit with the pad of the finger, or you hit too soft, you're going to end up with this. Hear that? I totally muted it. This is much less strength than if you're just striking the string normally, because now the sound of the string has to carry through two notes. So you really have to be careful about hitting nice and hard with the tips of your fingers. And again, a great way to practice this is just do the scale. And 
And with most Tibetan music, you will find that easily half the time you've got multiple notes played on the same string, this technique will be used. So if you watch very carefully while I'm playing Akupama, I'm just going to play it really slowly. And I'm going to try to emphasize by pulling my hand away between the strings. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how well that showed up on webcam, but I was only hitting the string about one half to two thirds of the notes. And again, you just want to practice that by playing the scale. Now I also had a trill in there, which is another technique you want to learn. The trill is super easy, it's the same thing as a hammer, except you hit the note just really quickly and then you let go. See what my finger's doing? Tap. And this just provides a really nice ornamentation. So. Sounds really good. You'll hear that when I do Alcopema. I'm just going to do it again. Hear that? And it just provides a really nice ornamentation. So with these techniques, you can really start playing Tibetan music.